Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. I've got a question here from Frank asking about fitness. So this is uh, good. I don't think I've done a video really on fitness related things in a while. Uh, Frank says, hey, John, it would be great if you uh, if you touch about standing desk and programming. Uh, there is evidence that standing is better for one's overall health, but is it good and sustainable for the task of programming regards Frank? So Frank, this is something that, I mean, obviously I've, I've talked about before. I've done some blog posts, if you search on simpleprogrammer.com for standing desk or treadmill desk. Um, I have a treadmill desk. Uh, I don't use it as much as I used to. Um, so, you know, when I first thought about this, I thought, oh, walking while working, that would be great. You could walk for like six hours during the day, burn all kinds of calories, get all kinds of super rip. But, uh, but the reality of the situation is that you're probably not going to walk for six hours a day and you and, and it's not going to be the best thing, right? Um, I have found personally that I do my best thinking and my best focused, concentrated work when I am sitting down at my desk. Now, uh, I haven't really done the standing thing all that much. I've, I've done the walking on the treadmill, you know, at a very slow pace. I guess that's pretty close to the same thing as, as standing, but I find that that uh, is somewhat of a distraction, right? Even even doing it every day for a long period of time, I get more and more used to it, but it's still, you know, if I have to solve a really hard problem uh, or do a bunch of different things where I'm switching windows and a lot of stuff, uh, it's probably not the best thing. I find that it's best for like answering emails, uh, doing conference calls on the phone, for doing kind of lighter work, for maybe brainstorming ideas and, and typing up things or you know t typing up uh, even sometimes a blog post or something like that but for really hardcore programming it i sort of fall off the treadmill <laughs> when i'm trying to do that now uh you know there, there's the health benefits of this right so i'm not entirely convinced on the health benefits of just standing uh, right i mean we have some evidence like i've you know you read these articles and this is a big thing for people to tout about now is and, and you know obviously sitting is bad for you right but you you think about like waiters and waitresses and different types of jobs where people stand on their feet all the time and they're not like so much more healthy right they, we, we don't see the reports that are saying Oh, you know, waiters live never get a heart attack, or they they never have you know whatever you know problems chronic these chronic problems that people who sit all day have. Uh, you know, obviously they have a reduced incidence of it. You know, the, the the studies only really show that sitting is bad for you. They don't show well, and even then they don't know why. So it might have to do with the lifestyles of the people that sit. They you know, there's other studies I know people will point out if I say this, make this broad statement, they'll say. Well, well, wait a minute. They showed that even if you exercise like two hours a day or, or whatever, an hour a day, if you're sitting for a majority of the time, you're still just as much of a health risk. Again, you can't really correlate that exactly with sitting. You, you might say that the people that actually do exercise an hour a day, first of all, are they actually self-reporting? Are they lying? Because, you know, <laughs> and, and then second of all, does, does, it, it, does it still correlate to a certain type of person that does that and certain other lifestyle things that relate to it. So, you know, again, I'm not a scientist. I'm not a, you know, someone who is a health professional, um, although I try to be as healthy as possible. So I can only really speak from practical advice and I can only look at the studies that I've seen and I haven't seen until I see something that connects it exactly. This is why sitting is bad for you. I'm not going to totally buy into it. But at the same time, I'm a realist, right? I'm not going to ignore the, the kind of statistical evidence that shows that sitting is bad. Obviously, it is bad to some degree. Uh, so I try to stand up uh, for a decent part of the day, right? I lift and run and, you know, and, uh, and I'm on the treadmill doing some, at least answering my emails now is what I mostly do on the treadmill. And I do that for 45 minutes or an hour every day. So I'm at least, you know, getting that. Uh, and, and when I do the Pomodoros, I try to take a five minute break uh, and, and do like stretching and do different exercises so that I'm out of the chair, I'm doing something because I like to hedge my bets, right? <laughs> but, um, but, 
But this, and you know, I'd be interested in trying a standing desk. The only reason why I don't do it is because I have like these huge monitors, and it's it's a big big hassle with the, the setup that I have now. I do have the treadmill, so I could go walk over there instead. But um, I I don't know. I think you know if you can tolerate the standing all day, or even you know three or four hours of the day. To me, like standing still would probably be easier than than walking i haven't really really tried i should just do an experiment just standing on the treadmill with my laptop and see how long i could do that and if uh if i felt like that uh kind of made it harder you know i know walking while trying to program and think about something really difficult does so i should probably try that experiment and then then i'll have a better idea but you know regardless I would tell you this, don't go too extreme because you'll burn yourself out and you won't want to do it, right? So if you say, I'm going to stand, make a, do a standing desk and I'm going to stand there, you know, eight hours a day and do my work all from a standing desk. Uh, okay. A couple things are going to happen. One, probably your, the quality of your work is going to suffer because you're just going to be trying to make it through the day. And then two, uh, you're, you're probably going to burn out of it and just get tired of it and quit it all together. And so, you know, it would have been better if you said, I'm going to make a goal of standing for one or two hours a day, which is something that would be sustainable and possible to do. Uh, and you did that for like a whole year or a couple of years versus, you know, you, you get all excited, you buy the standing desk, you think you're going to do eight hours a day and that lasts a week. And then you're, you know, back to, to sitting and you feel defeated on top of all that. So that's my opinion on it. Again, I'm not an expert on these things. You know, I've, I've looked at most of the studies and the, the reports and stuff, so I am familiar with it. Uh, and, and I do agree that it does point to sitting being bad. Again, there's not a smoking gun here yet. So what should we do? We should hedge our bets, of course. We should make sure that we, we try to minimize the sitting. Um, I don't believe that sitting all day is gonna be you know, worth it. If, if you could get, you can never get something for nothing, right? If you, if I, I would love to just be able to walk on my treadmill all day and burn all kinds of calories while working, but it, it does take a toll. Even walking at a very slow pace, it does take a toll. It takes a toll mentally. It takes a toll physically. It takes a toll in your willpower. So you got to do this in a smart way. I always talk about on Get Up and Code on, on my podcast about, you know, healthy lifestyle changes about things that you can stick with for the long term. So that's a big thing here is what can you stick with for the long term? Now you might be able to build up your tolerance and be able to build up your ability to stand, but, uh, but you know, just think about it for the long term. Don't think about what I'm going to do next week. Think about what I'm going to be doing five years from now. So will I commit to something for five years? And that, uh, will, will help you to, to make the right decision here. All right, well, that's it. That's all I've got about standing desks. If you have some input on this, I'm, I'm definitely, uh, you know, I might be not up to date on the latest studies. Maybe there is a smoking gun that shows exactly why, uh, why sitting is bad for you. I agree that it is bad for you, but I'd like to see that, that correlation. Uh, and uh, if you've got some tips or anything, leave them in the comments below. And uh, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take care.